Now once you've got your shift point set, hit the mode button to get to the next menu, which would be PPR. Uh, for most V8 applications, you won't need to change that. It'll be defaulted to 4, but if you happen to have to change it, you can go in and edit that number. After PPR, the next menu item that you will run into is bands. And this is all of the band widths for your pit road speed, corner, and shift points. The first one you'll run into is the low band. All of these bands can be set to within one RPM resolution using the arrow buttons up and down. The next band after the low band is your go, and then your high, followed by the two high bands. And those are the four pit road speed bands that we have available. The next one that you'll run into is the pit progressive shift light, and that is a lead-in to the shift point that you've selected in the previous step. The next band you'll see is hysteresis. This is a value uh, that will allow you to alleviate any flickering LEDs that you may see as a result of um, picking up minor fluctuations in RPM signal uh, in our digital circuit. After the hysteresis band, you will see corner low, corner go, and corner high. Those are the three corner RPM bands. Now it's important to mention that there has to be at least a 500 RPM gap in between the end of each of the corner bands and either the on the high end, the shift point, the progressive shift point, or on the low end to the too high band in your pit road speed bands. Also, in, in the case that you wanted to remove one of these bands altogether, you can set that band to zero and then that particular band will not change color or do anything. After the bands menu, the next thing you'll see is capture position. This basically is telling you when you push, when you set the pit road speed shift point, um, whether that is the bottom of the go band or the top of the go band. Now this applies both to the setting that you have in the pick as well as the bottom button on the tack. After capture position, you're going to see colors. Now this is one of the new things that's been implemented on the new NASCAR can tack. We are allowing all of the different bands to change color uh, to any of the seven selectable colors. The first thing you're going to see when you get into the colors menu is the backlight. This is the standard color for backlight. Now the colors that we have available for backlight are white, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple. And you can select that by having that color displayed here and then returning out of that menu. Now in all of the other bands, white is not an option. White is only available as a backlight color for default backlight only. Now once you get in and you select the different colors for some of your bands, as soon as you return out, if you wanted to change the low band to cyan, the first thing you're going to see is BL and then a 1 or a 0. The 1 indicates whether the backlight will change within that band to the color that you've selected, the zero would keep it as the default backlight color. The next thing you're going to see is FL and then a zero or a one. And this indicates whether the backlight color will flash or not. Zero would be no flash, one would be a flashing. Now you can also change all of the pit road speed go, high, too high, corner low, corner go, corner high, your progressive shift, your shift, and your over rev. All of those are selectable within this menu and they can all flash, follow the backlight color, or not. Okay, now that we've talked about how to set up and configure the bands uh, for bandwidth and color, Let's see what they actually look like. 
The first band you're going to see is the low band, followed by the go, the high, and the two high band. And these are your four pit road speed bands. The next one you're going to see is the corner low, corner go, and the corner high band. And then you're going to see your lead in to your shift point, followed by the shift point, and the overworn for the shift point. 